Mal's are here now for the PGL RMR Group B side of things. I've got Shuhei with me. I want to look at the fact that you guys came through the closed qualifier and, okay, you lost to Eternal Fire. They're looking pretty good in general, right? You lost to Spirit. Spirit is doing Spirit things right now. But other than that, like, how was it for you guys to go through that? And how important was it to get that many officials with Brolan in as well and on that kind of level? Yeah, so the first thing we looked into was boot camping. Um, that's where we played the close qualifiers from. It was very important for us to start off really strong and fast, kind of, because we didn't really have a lot of time to practice with uh, Brolan before. Yeah. So boot camp, close qualifiers, some shaky games, some uh, good start off games for the for the lineup. Uh, maybe some uh, losses uh, against like Spirit, you said. I think it's good that we get this out of the way uh, at the beginning. Then we have good performance towards the end. Uh, and now coming into the RMR, we just know that these close qualifiers and RMRs are probably at some point or to some extent even harder than that major itself to, because you just yeah. need to, you play so many different opponents and you don't really know what to expect from a lot of these teams uh, coming in and everyone is just so hungry to win, to play at a major um, again. So it's very difficult to go through these qualifiers. Okay, then in the players you have here right now and Bron's time on the team, you may have had him for world final, but I'm not really counting it because it's more like the start of this year, I would say, and forward. It's still not a huge amount of time. So how comfortable are you feeling now of him? Because he does seem to fit really well, but are you still lacking some things? Definitely. I think we, we are still far off of what we are able to do and achieve and actually receive from us. Like, we don't really have a lot of time to practice. Now we came back from Katowice, maybe three, four, three days of practice, and then we're coming oh, into RMR. Gone. So there is still a lot that we need to improve on and still a lot that we need to work on with the uh, Brolan especially. We're hoping that uh, after this RMR, we're going to have some days off uh, and actually have time to practice and figure out the system that we want to play and how do we actually fit in those roles and everyone instead of just playing officials all the time, which it can be exhausting. And at the minute, we're, we're basically playing officials and using it as a practice in a way and <laughs> yeah. learning from there uh, as we can. You are kind of just playing, adapting, changing a little bit and you don't yeah. want to change too much. You make problems. You just said about the practice days you had. So you had like three, four days practice? Yeah. Wow. So only that much to try and implement anything you saw. How much change were you able to make? What were you able to do in such a short amount of time? I mean, to not give too much away, obviously, um, we at least had those three days of practice. So that's how we look at it. We, we know that we had three days extra, maybe one day off, and uh, then we had work to do, preparation for this tournament. Mm -hmm. We worked on a lot or many things that came to our heads that, for example, happened in Katowice and how do we avoid them here. Good. Um, so it's just a work in progress. We're working on our mistakes. For you guys, looking at this group, looking at the RMRs, looking at what you've got, do you see yourself as one of the favorites to go through? Do you feel that confident with what you have and knowing your team? I'm definitely confident in my team, but I I feel like calling us a favorite would be from a fan point uh, or from a viewer perspective. Oh, I'm a us, fan. <laughs> <laughs> us from the team inside, mm. I, don't, I don't think we look at it that we are the fan uh, or the, the favorites to qualify. Uh, maybe that's because it does add a little bit of pressure uh, to it. Maybe it is also good that you, you do this because at the end of the day, you are in like the top five in HLTV, so you, you want to uh, qualify. You, yeah. you, in a way, maybe even need to qualify uh, some teams. But for us, it's more about proving to ourselves that the system that we are working on, that is working, uh, and that we are able to use it on the big stages. Well, let's hope that system is working and let's hope you get the job done. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you.